Chapter 6. Yes, I know you read a lot of science fiction, Miss McNabb said, but you don't expect me to believe that silly story, do you? Miss McNabb folded her arms and sighed. I could tell she was losing patience with me. You have gym class next, don't you? She said. What? This is all some kind of joke, right? She glanced at my schedule, stapled to the file. I knew it, she muttered. You do have gym next, and you're trying to get out of it. No, I'm telling the truth. You're going to that gym class, young man, she said. It starts in five minutes. I stared at her. My feet felt glued to the floor. I should have known she wouldn't believe me. Are you going? She asked gruffly. Or do I have to take you to your gym myself? I'm going. I'm going. I backed out of the office and ran down the hall. Miss McNabb stuck her head out the door and called, No running in the halls. Now you tell them to hurry to gym class. What the hell? Pam and Greg always said the high school was bad. I thought to try to the gym. But this is a nightmare. Tweet! I was a bad whistle, but I did my best. The gym teacher blew his whistle. Volleyball! We'll have to pick teams. The gym teacher was a stocky guy with a black toupee. <laughs> he chose a couple of team captains, and he started picking teams. Don't pick me. Don't pick me. I silently prayed. One of the captains, a blonde girl named Lisa, picked me. We lined up at the volleyball nets. The other team served. The ball flipped me like a bullet. I got it! I got it! I cried. I reached up to hit the ball back. Clonk! It knocked me on the head. Ow! I rubbed my sore head. I'd forgotten. My head was much higher now than it used to be. Wake up, Matt! Lisa yelled. I had a feeling I wasn't going to be very good at volleyball. The ball came flying at us again. Get it, Matt! Someone called. I reached up higher this time, but I tripped over my giant feet and fell. Oof! On top of the guy standing next to me. Watch it, man! The guy shouted. Get off me! Then he crushed his elbow. Ow! I hurt my elbow! The teacher blew his whistle and hurried over to the guy. You better get go to your nurse, he said. The guy hobbled out of the gym. Way to go, Matt, he just said sarcastically. Try to do something right this time, okay? I turned red with embarrassment. I knew it looked like a jerk. But I wasn't used to being so tall and having such big feet and hands. I didn't know how to control them. I got through a few rounds without messing up. Actually, the ball didn't come near me, so I didn't have a chance to mess up. Then Lisa said, You're served, Matt. I knew this was coming. I've been watching everybody else serve so I know what to do. This time, I won't mess up, I vowed. I'm going to serve this ball and get a point for my team. Then they won't be angry at me for making us lose. I tossed the ball in the air. I punched it as hard as I could with my fist, trying to get it over the net. Wham! I hit that ball hard and I had, I had ever hit anything. It whizzed through the air so fast you could hardly see it. Smack! Ow! Lisa doubled over, clutching the side of her head. Why'd you have to hit it so hard? Lisa cried, rubbing her head. The teacher looked over at her. You'll have a nasty bruise there, he said. You better go to the nurse too. Lisa glared at me and stumbled away. The teacher gave me a funny look. What's the matter, kid? he asked. Don't you know your own strength? Or just out to get your classmates one by one? I... I didn't do it on purpose, I stuttered. I swear I didn't. Hit the showers, kid, the teacher said. I hung my head as I dragged myself to the locker room. This day can't get any worse, I thought. There's no way. Still, why take chances? It was lunchtime. I had half a day of school to go, but I wasn't going to stick around. I didn't know where to go or what to do. I only knew I couldn't stay in that school. High school was horrible. If I ever got back to our normal life, I remembered to skip this part. <laughs> we all do wish we, we all wish you could take a big kid. We all do too. I left the gym and raced out the school building as fast as I could. Down the hall out the door. I glanced back. Was that big guy chasing me? Did the principal see me sneak out? No sign of anyone. Coast clear. Then, oof! Oh no, not again! Seven, next time.